Welcome back to another UNC football recruiting podcast here on TarHeelIllustrated.com. And if you're checking us out on our YouTube channel, Tar Heel Illustrated, a THI publisher, Andrew Jones, and joining me as she always does when we talk Tar Heels, gridiron recruiting, our very own Miss Dina King. And Dina, big day for Carolina. It's Christmas. So there was a giant present under the tree, although it took a while to get there. But it was it, it showed up. Mac Brown's got to be happy. Dre Bly's got to be happy. Four-star cornerback, Tayon Holloway from Green Run High School in Virginia, made it official, announcing here on Christmas Day that he will be a Tar Heel. He is the second member of the class of 2022. Very good credentials. The number 60 overall player nationally in the class. He's the number eight player nationally at his position and the number four overall prospect in the very talent rich state of Virginia, which is loaded in the class of 2022. Tayon Holloway is the second 757 kid to commit to Carolina from the class of 2022. Santa brought a goodie to Tar Heel Nation. He's a big one for uh, Coach Brown. Like you said, another Tidewater kid. They had a final six of Penn State, UNC, Pittsburgh, F- FSU, Virginia Tech, and Maryland, and he decided to be a Tar Heel on Christmas Day. Texas A&M, Alabama, Penn State also on his offer sheet. A very impressive offer sheet. This is a young man that, again, the Dre Bly connection. Dre Bly's got a foot planted in the Charlotte area. And he's got a foot planted in the 757, which is where he's from, Dina. And those are the two most uh, talent-heavy areas north of Atlanta, anywhere in the eastern half of the United States. And they are North Carolina's primary recruiting areas. And Dre Black coming through big time again. Just recently, he did so with a wide receiver from the Tidewater area, Tyshawn Chapman. And now he gets a a Tayon Holloway, who did cite Dre as one of the reasons why uh, he's picking Carolina when you talk to him. Dre Vlock can stamp a Tar Heel in Charlotte and in Virginia Beach area. So not a footprint, a Tar Heel stamp. He's just – he's killing it on the the recruiting uh, portion of his his job and everything. And – just like Chapman, when I spoke to Holloway, he said almost the same factors. The coaching staff, Coach Bly, he, he trusts him. He's a legend up there. He's did everything that all these kids want to do. He has played at the top level in college and went on to the pro, won a Super Bowl, Hall of Fames, all kinds of stuff, and now he's – He's bringing his wisdom to back to his uh, roots and everything. So, yeah, Dre is a big factor in getting these kids from the 757 to come to Chapel Hill. He also um, said that he thought that with Dre's knowledge of actually playing the game at both levels, NFL and college, he can get him to that level and – He's seeing Tony, uh, another Tony Grimes, another hometown kid, getting action early. So it has to it has to be positive for those kids in that region. Just well, maybe not even in just that region. Just some of these elite kids saying, "Hey, Carolina's playing these these young guys. I can see the field real early there too." So well, well you then, know what? Go ahead. And then he he listed the location being really close that you know his uh, family can come and watch him play so just same old same old kind of what what Chapman said earlier I think we're going to repeat this conversation in in many forms over the course of the next uh, eight months nine months when the UNC staff fills out its class of 2022 there's gonna be a lot of kids from the Commonwealth that are going to pop for the Tar Heels and what I thought was really interesting uh, is that on Sunday when ESPN was unveiling all the different bowl games and stuff like that, when they finally got around to the Orange Bowl uh, after their 48-hour uh, analysis of the CFP, 
uh, one of the first things that they talked about was the fact, and Herb, Kirk Herbstreit was just in awe of the fact that there's a high school senior starting at corner for Carolina now. And, and, the, and the thing is, is he didn't, Tony Grimes didn't step in and just was handed the position. He had to earn it. He had to earn it. He had to work. He had to spend time with Dre and, and learn how to play the position. And it's not just, you know, what, what the specs are. We, we've seen the specs in person. We saw them this past summer when we went up to Virginia Beach. But you've got to be able to play the game. And Dre clearly taught that kid how to play the game. He went in uh, with the mindset that he was going to learn and he was going to get on the field whenever he could. And he was going to listen to everything Dre told him. So Payon Holloway watches that. And what he was telling you is like, look, I want to be a great college player. I want to get to the NFL. I want the fast track. Dre Black can get me there. That is an unbelievable sales pitch that Herb Street and ESPN made for Dre Bly in Carolina, especially when it comes to all those skilled dudes. And the 757 is loaded with skilled dudes. That's the second commitment from Virginia and in that region. So those two, they know each other really well being in the same area. And a lot of the Virginia kids I've seen – fall on social media they're they they're they're like the north carolina bunch in class of 21 they talk a lot they yeah. interact a lot and so this may be the the beginning of a possible super class coming from virginia because yeah. we know unc is in good shape with several other virginia kids george petway a running back uh Sherrod Koval, another defensive back. Bryson Jennings, a defensive lineman. And then that big offensive tackles, Zach Rice and Gunnar Givens, who uh, really speak high Carolina, too. So uh, you said it earlier, Tar Heel fans need to watch up north a little yes. bit. I would pay a lot of attention to what's going on in the Commonwealth. Tyon Holloway, Tyon Holloway is the second member of the class of 22. He's a four-star cornerback from Virginia Beach. Two are in the books. There's more to come, and we will be on top of it for you right here on TarHeelIllustrated.com and our channel here, Tar Heel Illustrated. She's Dina King. I'm Andrew Jones. If you like this video, click like. Hit the notification bell. You get updates every time we load videos about football and basketball recruiting at UNC. And, of course, we go where the Tar Heels go, and we got a lot of stuff on this channel about the football and basketball Tar Heels. Thanks for stopping by.